you see it getting sharper and sharper and sharper. And you guys saw this in your lab. This is a diffraction grating. Let me pass it out. Please handle it by the edges. There's a rule in optics. Whatever you touch gets destroyed. And it's especially true of diffraction grating. Whatever you touch is destroyed. So please handle it by the edge. Um, what that diffraction grating is, is this. It's that n slit with the n taken to a very large number, like a thousand. Um, so for that diffraction grating you're holding, I think it's thousand lines per millimeter. So if you have this laser beam of one millimeter in width, it's, as it's going through, it's going through a, um, a thousand of those slits. So it's as if I took this and made this a thousand instead of a hundred. Oh, I guess I haven't tried that either. Let's see, hope it works. I don't know, this is a free product. It might it, at some point limit my computation time. Oh, never mind, it works. Uh, okay, so this is where it's beginning to run into calculation artifacts. Um, it's a sampling error. Um, so let me not do that. It, 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 uh, the free version of Mathematica is not able to handle this the way I want it to. <laughs> All right, so let's just leave that there. Uh, can I get a, um, I forgot to take one for myself. Is there one left uh, at the end? Yeah, there's one. Thank you. Yeah, more, there's more than one left. All right. So we do this diffraction grading. You see two things. One, this D is usually very, very small. So um, the very first thing you see is that uh, this first uh, principal maximum is going to be at a very large angle. You saw this in the lab. When you pass this through, um, so the first principal maximum is way over there. That's the first order interference maximum. Um, that's the first order interference maximum. So it's already at like a you know, 20, 30 degree angle. So that's the one thing. The other two, second thing is what we saw here. With a large number of n, the interference, uh, constructive interference peak becomes very, very narrow. So essentially what you see here is with the size of this beam, the interference maximum you see looks more or less like the same beam you see in the middle, except not as bright for some reason. Yeah? Um, so, uh, oh, I had a demo I wanted to show. So we did this uh, diffraction grading. Uh, here's, um, so this is what it is used for. I guess if you take this and look at the um, uh, light, you might see some light, but um, it's, um, so I made this uh, device that's more designed to do that kind of measurement. Um, if I can show how this works after the class maybe. Um, I think the better thing to demonstrate the use of this diffraction grading with is this uh, atomic, uh, uh, I guess, vapor cell. So this is, uh, um, this, is <coughs> this tube is filled with the helium gas. And when I turn it on, it's going to produce a particular kind of light, neon light. Um, and it, aside from having a yellow color, the spectrum of this is, is actually pretty unique. Uh, let me turn off the other distracting light, and you will be able to see. I recommend that you hold your diffraction grading horizontally. So the writing should appear horizontal. And put it right in front of your eye, look at the light, um, if you need to block the other lights from around it and uh, look for, so you will see the yellow line in the very middle, that not anything, but look to your left or right. You will see other similar short vertical lines that are, that has yellow in it, but it also has other colors in it. Can you see it? So Songmin, where you are might be a little bit too far to see anything, but do people see those other additional vertical short lines? Yeah. yeah. So that's what this diffraction grading is doing. It's uh, separating out the wavelengths from this according to the, you know, this formula here. So it's a highly, de it's a dependent on the wavelength. So, um, so see if you can verify this. The shorter wavelength should diffract, um, di diffract less, right? So as you look at it, the colors that's closer to the central maximum should be the blue colors. Is that the case? 
right? And the red colors in the rainbow are farther away from the central maximum. Yeah, so yellow should be right in the middle. So this exact yellow color, that's the mixture of all those different wavelengths that get separated out by this diffraction grading. So, um, so that's a diffraction grading, and we are actually going to use this or a version of this later on when we do atomic spectra lab. It relates more to quantum mechanics. But, um, so that's the tool we are using, so I want you to take this chance to show you the tool before we use it like a month or so before we actually are going to use it. <laughs>